Hi everybody, today we're going to be talking about crayon problems, um, or at least that's what our curriculum calls them, but really um, these, are, these are what I like to call missing number problems, or uh, mathematicians would call missing add-end problems, um, and we'll talk a little bit more about why that is in a second. First, let's, let's imagine uh, for a minute here. Let's imagine that there's a fellow named Steve. And Steve has five crayons. Three of his crayons are red, and the rest of them are blue. How many are blue? Well, this one probably seemed a little bit obvious. Um, as we can see, there are one, two crayons that are not red, so there are two crayons that are blue. Now, how could we write this as an addition problem. If we look back, we had three that were red, and we have two that are blue. So if we thought about it that way, we might think, okay, that's three plus two equals five. We have three red plus two blue equals five crayons and all. But that's not how the problem started. The problem started like this. We knew that Steve had five crayons in all, and we knew that three of them were red. And then the question was, how many were blue? So we knew that three plus something was going to be five. There's a lot of ways that we could have thought about this or that we could have drawn this. Um, I'm going to talk through a couple more here. So we could have thought about it uh, as a 10 frame. Um, we know that the top half of a 10 frame is 5, so if I think about the 3 red, uh, that would fill the 10 frame like this, and then we have whatever's left to make the whole 5. Um, oh, and that's 2 blue, yet again. I could have also thought about it on the number line. If I wanted to think about it on the number line, I'd say, okay, I'm going to start at 3. And then I'm going to see how much do I need to add on until I get to 5. Well, and I'd see that I would count twice to go to 5. I would go 1, 2, and here's 5. So again, 3 plus 2 would be 5. Now, we could also think about it this way. And if this... Uh, part feels confusing, that's okay. This is um, getting to be complicated stuff to think about. Um, when we look at the problem like this, where we say, okay, I'm starting at 3, I want to end at 5, how far do I have to go? 1, 2. That makes good sense. Now, how can this also be a subtraction problem? Um, because I've just shown you that's the other way that it can be expressed. We could also ask the question this way. How far apart are 3 and 5? What is the difference between those numbers? And difference is the really important math word here. Um, we want to see how far apart those two numbers are, thinking about the number line. Um, so we would know that it's 2 apart. It's 3 plus 2 equals 5. But there's another way to think about difference, and we can also think about difference as subtraction. That if we started with 5, and we knew that 3 of these oops, three of these were red, how many would be left to be blue? I probably should have colored that blue, like this, yeah. So if what, I had 5 crayons, it's a different color, and three of them were red, I take away the three red ones, how many are left to be blue? Well, we could think about it on the number line. Here, I'm starting at five, and I'm going to count down three times. One, two, three. So, I arrive at two, so that means there's two left to be blue. Again, you know, if I mark it in with the colors, I'm, I'm thinking back, again, to the 10 frame or uh, 
to the drawings of crayons, I, I'm really doing the same thing. I'm showing that there are three red and that there are five in all. So whatever's left, that's what's available to be blue. Um, because the difference between those numbers, five and three, is two. They're two away from each other. And that's really all what all of these problems are going to be. Um, they're going to be uh, a, a problem where a number is missing, that we, we have some number of something, and we know how much the total is. And it might say how many less or how many more, but really it's still going to probably be asking us about um, what what is the missing number here. And it's these are called missing add-end problems because you're adding them together. The two numbers you add together are called add-ends, and what you end up with is the sum. Uh, that's something you don't really need to know, at least not yet. Well, and anyway, I, I hope that was helpful um, for getting you started on the crayon problems. Um, as always, if this was confusing or if you find that you have other questions or difficulties um, or I've gotten something wrong, please reach out um, and I'll talk to you soon.